Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Dare to Date. We are on episode six. Um, we're starting a new mini series. It's going to be called Dating Do's and Don'ts. Oh, yeah. I wanted to do this to give advice and try to bring some clarity to the very basic frameworks of dating someone or if you want to date someone. So let's jump right into it. First one is do be yourself. So this sounds simple, but it's really easy when you like someone or you want to start dating someone. You want to try to be everything you can to impress them. Um, but yeah, just be yourself. Stick to your convictions. Uh, stick to your morals, your, your likes, dis dislikes. Just be you. And that's really what will you know make a difference in you finding someone that's best for you. I mean, when I was growing up, I would always try to be whoever I could. If someone I liked was in the skating group or they're in like... Uh, the, if they're in like the band group, I would just, whatever they like, whatever they're interested in, I would just say I'm interested in that just to win them over. So if you're doing that, it's probably a sign that you shouldn't be really dating at that person or you just need to sit, rethink why you're dating. Yeah, just be yourself. People are going to love who you are and when you're truly being yourself, they can Yeah, that's so good. I just want to tag on to that trying to keep up appearances for someone that you like is so exhausting too because then if a little piece of your true self like slips out it might cause friction or it's just it's really building on lies and that's never healthy in a relationship <laughs> today's don't is don't be afraid of rejection so when you're out there being yourself putting yourself out there it can feel really scary especially in the first initial like asking someone out on a date and I don't know that I've ever personally been on that side of things but it goes both ways, feeling afraid that they're going to reject you, they're going to say no, they're going to hate you or something crazy. But the fact is, even you watching right now, you can probably look in a room of people and think, okay, I know for a fact, right off the bat, I'm not interested in dating so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not personal, it's just you know it. So if they were to ask you out and you said no, it's not because you're like, I actually hate your guts. It's really just, you're not interested in that, and that is okay. So while you're out there doing as Devin says, being yourself, sticking into your convictions, the worst the other person can say is no, and it might and be right for the back, better. And then you're right back to where you were before, so yeah. that's fine. But on the other side of the things, you know, you never know. You may say, think, you're like, I don't think I'd date that person, but it was the same between me and Tessa. She never would have thought of dating me, but here we are. So that's why you have to, I know. That's why you just have to go for it. You know, don't be afraid. If I was afraid that she was going to reject me, I never would have known. Right. But since I went for it, then, you know, you could, they could change. You know, if you really get the chance to show who you are, That's it true. could win them over. So guys, I hope you found your do and don't helpful this week. And we'd love to hear any stories you have about asking someone out on a date. Like that would fun. seriously make our whole week. I know, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, comment below if you have any questions, any thoughts. Um, like I said, these are our thoughts, these are our tips that we found helpful. I know there's probably many others and different points of view on this. We want to hear it, so comment below, like, and subscribe. We love you guys. Thank See you. ya.